Hi, my name is Tim Murphy, and I'm the current Poet Laureate of Canmore. The poem I'm going to read you is about my oldest son, Jake, who is brain injured since the age of nine. It's called The Book of Jake. The Book of Jake begins with invented title that rhymes with snakes and bacon, a short dedication to Tinkerbell, and a preface from Peter Pan, who led Lost Boys, followed by tables of content that fade after chapter nine and miss a few lines to return at chapter 12 in bold typeface with a paper cap, shoes without laces, and long, unusual spaces between words, as if each chapter were forgotten in the writing. The story starts with the usual bundle of mother's milk, cuddles and chores, baseball gloves, first loves, red cheeks, and homework. Things sail along for a while until Ahab shows up, searching for the whale, which he finds, despite impossible odds. And the, beast, and the beast destroys him, of course, along with everyone else in the book. But that's not the end, as Melville proposed, for Billy Pilgrim arrives, jumping around like a little leapfrog, estranged from his calm lily pond, lost in cosmology of simple things like chickens and eggs, and stuffed pigs, and what comes first, socks or shoes, and whether phone poles arrive in threes for any more would be hard to imagine. And life goes on, as they say. Young girls still, still wear frilly dresses on playgrounds surrounded by chain link fences to keep children in and wild things out, and music sounds good and makes you move, and the wind in your hair is something you can count on, but the next block is another country and anyone past puberty is a rat's nest of contradictions, much like Peter Pan predicted. So the story winds to its yet undisclosed climax as chapter headings give over to page numbers that grow beards and kidney stones and the fear of prostate cancer while playing a hundred solitaire hands with a tattered deck missing all the face cards, which is otherwise made up entirely of jokers.